For the table blender, I thought you'd show you a really simple soup. Now you can either cook the soup on the stove or you can actually roast it in the oven. It'll give it a slightly different texture as well. Um, what I'm going to do is a roasted butternut squash soup or a simple just butternut squash soup on the stove here. Very easy. We start off with butternut squash. We've got some onions, a little bit of garlic, chicken stock. You can use veg stock, a touch of cream and creme fraiche. That's about it really. Um, get a nice hot pan on the stove, add some butter to the pan and I've chopped up this butternut squash here. And we just add it to our pan. Now you could, if you wanted to, use pumpkin. It depends whatever uh, really of the two are in season at the time. But also parsnips work very well with this as well. Get it nice and hot. And what we're going to do is just add a little bit of colour to this. So once you've got a little bit of colour on the squash, and it's important that you use butter for this, you won't get that colour with just olive oil on its own. Then we're going to add a touch of fresh thyme to this. Just a little bit of fresh thyme, you can rip the whole lot up. You can, of course, use dry thyme, but it's important that if you are using dry thyme, it goes in at the start of the cooking, not at the end. So in we go with the thyme. Now we can add our chopped onions. These are a little bit of chopped shallots, really. You add those now, purely the fact that we don't want them to burn. But another ingredient that we're going to add is garlic. And it really is important that we add this at this point, not at the beginning, because if we burn garlic, it gives a bitter taste to our soup. So keep the colour on there, just colour it slightly. In we go now with some stock. You can use veg stock or chicken stock for this. And then bring it to the boil. And this really needs to cook for about five minutes. Now it literally will only take five minutes. It's really important that you cook soup bang on. And it's not just a matter about sticking veg in a pan covering it with water or stock and boiling it for 20 minutes. You don't overcook cauliflower and veg when you're serving it for Sunday lunch. So you don't do it when it, you're cooking soup. It's important to keep those flavours really in there. Now what we're going to do is just blend this. Now, very simply, we just take the lid off our blender and take our butternut and stock liquid. So that is, it shouldn't be boiling this. It should be hot but not boiling. So we can take and you've got that lovely colour that you get from this. Now the reason why we've developed these, particularly out of glass, is that it won't stain. Often when you're making soups and you're making them out of uh, particularly tomato or red pepper, it will actually stain the plastic and you won't ever get rid of it. And also the good thing about this is if you're making smoothies with it being glass, it will actually keep in the fridge and it won't stain if you're using raspberries and stuff like that. Now whenever you blend in any hot liquid, in any blender, you take out the centre part because it creates a vacuum and it can spray everywhere. So it's important that you take the centre piece out, place a cloth on the top and then start it up. And we keep blending this now until it's nice and fine. Now, like I said, you could make smoothies out of this as well. It has got an ice crusher on it, but you can actually add raspberries, ice cream and ice and blitz the whole thing together, which instantly makes it onto a high speed. But the good thing about soups is they should be nice and smooth. That's what we're looking for. So at this point, you can check your liquor, which that is, and I can add a little bit more of our squash. Now I said before you can do this with pumpkin, you can do this with parsnips is very good as well. But just keep the colour on it, don't overcook the soup. Now we can just check the texture of the soup. taste tastes really good. The thing about soups is you do have to put plenty of salt in so don't be frightened. Black pepper and then all my cooking as you know just that little extra touch a few knobs of butter over the top. Lid on again just blend it a second time. quite important that we blend soup for long enough as well, that way you get that lovely velvet 
texture with your soup. Remember this is only cooked for about five minutes so the flavours are quite intense. Switch the machine off, we can take the lid off and then simply just you can either serve your soup straight from here or warm it up. And you get this lovely velvety sort of texture. Then what you can do, just to glam it up a little bit, I've got some creme fraiche. And I like that definition of the, the sharpness of creme fraiche with the nice smoothness of the soup. Place that on there. We can then grab a little bit more of our cream over the top. Drizzle of olive oil. Just finally, could of course, if you wanted to be a little bit elaborate, you could use some truffle oil of this, which is really nice. So then some chives, just chopped. Fresh chives. And there you have it, a simple butternut squash soup cooked in five minutes.